So you want to create an org chart in Excel. Today I'm going to share a very easy tip using which we can create org charts in Excel from any data. So here I have put some sample data. If you're wondering where this came from, this is from the famous TV show, The Office. So what you need is an employee ID, a unique identifier for your employees, names, titles, and a manager ID. The way these two columns, column C and column F are set up is an employee ID here would also appear in one of the manager IDs column. So for example, here ID one is Ryan Howard and he is the manager for ID number two, which is Michael Scott. So once you have set up the data, you can also add an optional column on the role type to distinguish between different type of people in the organization. You can also have a vacancy item as well if somebody is no longer in the organization. To create the org chart in Excel, we need to go to the insert ribbon and use the Visio data visualizer option. This may not appear in all versions of Excel. So if you do not see this here, tap on the get add-ins button in your Excel and then search for Microsoft Visio data visualizer. This is a free add-in provided by Microsoft and you can add this to your Excel. This is a one-time process. So once you add this, you can use it again in any other Excel workbook. If you are not able to add this or this is not even appearing for you, keep in mind that your administrator may have disabled such functionality for your Excel. So check with your IT if you are not seeing this particular thing here. Once you have added that, then just go to any empty cell and click on Visio Data Visualizer. This is going to show you different types of charts that you can readily create in Excel. Even though we just want organizational chart, you can see that we can also set up some flow charts, some cross functional flow charts and other cool things. So select the organizational chart and pick the type that you want. I'm going to go with the vertical one. This is going to make a dummy org chart for you with some made up data. This is the bit that I don't really like. We already have the data here, but we are not able to use that data readily. We must first set it up with the dummy data and then update the data. So once that table has been created for you, all you have to do is copy this data. So I'm going to select these values, control C and right click here and paste that as values. Once this is done, go back here and refresh this diagram and it will create your own organizational chart. Once this is set up, you can move this org chart to a different worksheet so that you can just present this without having all of this clutter. Again, doing this seems a little bit clumsy, but what you need to do is click on this little arrow here and then select this diagram and control C to copy it. Then go to another worksheet and control V to paste it here. Now you can make it as big as you want and you will get your nice organizational chart within Excel. If you click on some of these buttons, you will be able to make some changes to the organizational chart. For example, these three dots, you can see this on the web. If you have got Visio subscription, you will be able to do more edits. But if you do not have Visio support or you're not able to do that, you can still do some of the other things. Likewise, there is an extra button here using which you can kind of save this as an image. This is really helpful if you want to email this org chart or put it in a presentation. So there you go, a very easy and simple technique to create an org chart from your data right inside Excel. I hope you found this information helpful. My name is Chandu and if you want to learn a little bit more about other types of charts in Excel, do check out the playlist that is shown on the screen. I'll catch you there. Bye-bye.